Andrews raced to a 4-1 record to begin last season with an upset win at Carver's Bay. The Yellow Jackets went on to finish the regular season 6-4 and, and made it to the second round of the Class 2A playoffs. Defensive end Dustin Miller leads a group of seven starters back on defense. Basically, defense is our strongest point right now. Defense is what's going to keep us in the game. The defense wins games. On offense, six starters return. But quarterback is still a question mark with the graduation of Ethan Wright. Rising senior Jaquan Wright was their leading receiver a year ago. And William Lewis is a a bruising runner who averaged more than seven yards a carry last year. Lewis could be the key skill position player thanks to three returning linemen up front like Dustin Miller and returning senior Holden Brett. Uh, we're a real physical team during practice, during the game, anytime we can. Any opportunity we can to hit somebody, we're going to take that opportunity. Carlos Smalls is another weapon at running back. He also doubles up in the talented secondary along with Antonio McCutcheon for the black and gold. The main focus is to get better and um, leave a, a lasting impact at Andrews High. Head coach Scott Durham talks about the Yellow Jackets' chances this season in Region 7 Class 2A. You know, our region is very difficult. Obviously, Timberland's the measuring stick. Uh, that's what everybody, uh, you know, wants to be. Johnsonville's a very solid program moving into our region, and, and King Street's very athletic and been getting better and better over the last few years. So it's a very difficult region. There's no gimmies. Uh, you better bring your A game every Friday night.